But today, I wanted to talk about uh, marijuana. It is a plant, it is green, it is something that you can eat. So plant-based. It is technically plant-based, <laughs> but um, because it is something you can ingest, I wanted to have wanted to have a little bit of that conversation with you. It is not something that I am recommending by no. any stretch of the recommendation, uh, any stretch of the idea. It is not a green that I would say <coughs> yes, add this to your diet. I'm we are not saying that. Right. But hey, good morning. I love she loves clementines. Yes, yes, yes so do we. Awesome. Um, but some people have been asking, is it safe to eat? So we did a little bit of research. Um, so we're gonna be talking basically just about edibles. I'm not talking about smoking it. I'm not talking right. about anything else. We're just talking about edibles today. Which is where we have our concern, really. Right, if you're ingesting it. Um, one of the first concerns that comes with edibles is the way that it's packaged. Um, it looks like candy. It looks like dessert. It, it looks like yummy. Right. And it's usually like packaged, it's usually packaged with uh, sugar. So it is a very tasty thing to eat. So there, there's been, a, in Colorado, where such things are legal, they, they're having problems with pets and children uh, eating them. Because, they, and if you look at the packaging, like it literally looks like a package of Kit Kats. Yeah, or some more Mars bars. Or Mar or, like or, they yeah, literally, they're doors. using the same colors, they're yeah. using the same branding, like it looks like candy. Right. So they're running into a problem where children and pets are, are eating it. And obviously that is not a good thing. And they end up, um, children who eat um, edibles end up in respiratory distress because it, it's just, they eat way too much of it. Mm -hmm. So that's one, one problem. Uh, pets are, are ending up you know, in the hospitals and, and whatnot. So it's, it's definitely a, a challenge as far as that goes. The other thing that when it comes to edibles, and um, you know, I've, I've never tried it, so I'm speaking exclusively from the science, is that it takes a long time to take effect apparently and so what happens is people will eat the recommended dose whatever that is recommended mm -hmm. serving size and they'll wait an hour and they don't feel anything so then they're like oh i obviously need more and they'll eat more and it actually takes an hour for you to feel anything to kind of reach the peak of the feeling um, from whatever marijuana that you you ingest if you eat it I think it's up to three hours to get the full. Right, so it takes a, it takes an hour to start to feel it, and then three hours to end up um, in the in the top. What is it's recently become legal here too? Yeah. And then the thing the thing that uh, we saw that that really is you know brings it home for me is that like one marijuana cookie is not one serving. No. You know, there's multiple servings in a cookie, and who's eating just part of a cookie? And that's the problem is you're only supposed to eat like one tenth or, or you know, one quarter or whatever right. of the cookie. And then you have to wait three hours to, to actually feel it. So I don't know who's eating a quarter of a cookie and then sitting around for three hours going, I'm going to get high eventually. <laughs> um, like I did, that doesn't seem like a viable thing. And so that's, that's definitely, um, I, I guess, a challenge that, um, to consider if, you, if you're going to be ingesting marijuana uh, in an edible fashion, you need to have multiple hours mm -hmm. of time first for it to get into your system and then for it to get back out of your system. It's right. a very long curve. So I guess as a, as a rec recreational product. Which is what it's supposed to be. Right, right. Well, yeah, I mean, some is also still medical. Yeah, some people use it medically. We're right, not right. talking about We're that. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the recreational purposes right now. So if your goal is to have start having recreational purpose at 7 o'clock at night, you have to start at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Which means you have to have that time kind of blocked out. Right. So um, the other thing that they that we found in doing a little bit of research about it is that it's very under labeled that they what they say is in the package, there's actually more. So that's the opposite of what we usually run right. into when it comes to, you know, food and, and thing and even prescription drugs and whatever. Usually they're over labeled. They they say they claim to be more than they are. We find that with supplements mm -hmm. a lot, where they claim to be that the, what they're not. Apparently what's happening in the marijuana space is what they put on the label is one thing, but then there's actually more of it. And this is the THC, which of course which of course is the chemical that gets you high or gets you feeling yeah, good. Right, exactly. Um, so yeah, so you think you're getting a lower dose that you're actually getting a higher dose, which Right. I guess for some people it's great, but you know. But yeah, if you're trying to regulate it, that's obviously going to be a problem right. for you. The other thing is, is that um, in places where it is legal to to you know have and and make and ingest, you have people who are making their own cookies and brownies and and whatever. Those aren't labeled at all. Yes. There's no you know it's it's like saying how much chocolate do you put in your brownie. Mm. Mm -hmm. So um, th there's definitely been situations where people end up eating 
uh, marijuana brownies or marijuana cookies where they didn't realize that that's what they were given. They thought that they were just regular mm -hmm. desserts. Um, so they're not being labeled at all. You know, and, and how many people out there have seen the movies where they sneak that edible marijuana into some, you know, older people or, and they keep eating it, eating it, eating it, eating like six, seven, eight cookies. And so the perception, oh, well, I guess you can eat as much as you want because there's only a limit and that's not the case. So. No. And, you know, I bring it up only because I know so many people that'll see a movie or see something and think, well, that must be the way it is. It's a movie, but right. still they kind of think, well, they wouldn't do it in a movie if it wasn't, you know, so, uh, so I get concerned about that. Hey, Orlando, good morning. Good morning, Orlando. It's good to see you. Um, the other thing about um, marijuana to know is that because it is so easy to eat way more than you intend to, um, it, so you can't technically overdose on marijuana unless children do have respiratory um, dis Issues, depression yeah. and they have ended up on life support. Adults are more likely to end up doing like wacky things like jumping off of buildings mm -hmm. and cutting themselves to let out the energy that their friends need. Shooting spouses. Shooting their spouse. Mm -hmm. And just so... <laughs> Whereas overdosing on, say, heroin just kills you, which is not great, marijuana can cause you to do really funky things that can cause injury, it can cause death, it can cause death to other people. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of risk there if you're ingesting uh, edible marijuana accidentally and in excess. Right. And it seems like it's pretty easy to ingest in excess. And it seems like from that perspective, smoking it is actually better than eating it from the... THC acid. Um, yeah, from the THC. Because it only that, takes 10 minutes. Right, to get into your system if you smoke it. Unfortunately. However, from the health perspective of like your lungs and everything else, you're better off eating it. So right. I don't know what the right answer is there unless they start, you know, putting it in little tiny pill form or something. And that, just, that's the thing that they're saying is how come other drugs like um, Tylenol, they make the, the pill the size you're supposed to take. Like mm -hmm. it, it's not... Here's, you know, a package that you just break a piece off. That's not how it works, but with marijuana it is. And obviously this, this uh, industry isn't really regulated. Yeah. It's really brand new. It's been illegal for a really long time. And they're trying to figure things out. I understand right. that. Yeah. And again, I'm going to say this again. We are not recommending that you eat marijuana by any stretch right. of the imagination. Right. And we're also, I don't think, taking a position of whether or not it should be legalized or not. That's, that's for no. other people to decide and vote on and all that stuff. No, we're just saying if you decide to do it, here are some risks to be aware of. Here's kind of what we found as far as what the science is saying. And obviously the science is really new because it's been illegal to even study marijuana until recently. And technically, even though states are legalizing it on a federal level, it's still illegal. So right. that's where the science is done. It's usually done on, through federal grants and things like that. And there's, until the federal government says, yeah, okay, we're going to say this is okay, you're not going to get these type of studies. They can't research. even get the marijuana to study it. Right. So that's that's the challenge they're having. Um, we are seeing tobacco is getting involved in marijuana now. Because yeah. you know there's money to be made. So tobacco wants in. So big, we're going to have big marijuana eventually, I'm guessing. I'm sure. And unfortunately, what they're going to do is they're going to find a way to make it addictive. And they're going to put all kinds of chemicals in it. But there's going to be science. There's going to be science. So, so. Th this field is really new. It's really emerging. Um, who knows where it's going. And on a side note... Because you know, oh, you're gonna go on a tangent. My concern with tobacco getting involved is they will find a way to add something else to make it addictive. I always just said that. Did you really? I did. He doesn't listen to me. Sometimes I just he says he that. gets in his head what he wants to say, and, and then I start blocking attention. everything out. Yeah, but yeah. So it's gonna be, it, you know, it's gonna be new. It's gonna be interesting. But be aware if you're choosing to uh, ingest marijuana edibly, th there are some risks associated with it. It does take a long time to get in your system. So just block that time out. Like give yourself a whole day. Um, so I don't know. Do you have anything you want to add about that? No, I think that's our two cents on that. All right. So that's what we've learned. That's what the science, that's where the science is right now. If we see more, you know, we'll share it we'll with share. you. We'll let you know. If you have a, a, something that is ingestible that you'd like us to tell you about that isn't a food, because marijuana is not a food. Right. Let me make that clear. Um, let us know. We're happy to, to look into that for you. Anything else? I think that's it. All right. We're going to eat breakfast because it's not a fasting day. Exactly. So with that, we will say... Eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Yes, Carol. Blue. <laughs>